Hello Calvary Chapel family, I have some exciting news I want to share with you. As we all know, life has changed dramatically over the past few months for all of us, as we all have had to do our part in staying home and staying safe. But by the grace of God, we are able to meet at the church again. We will open the church for Sunday worship services on Sunday, May 31st at our usual times of 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 1 p.m. Now we aren't entirely out of the woods yet. There are still a few safety protocols that we need to adhere to in order to keep those who are most vulnerable safe. And I'm gonna walk you through these safety protocols now. First, if you are not feeling well, please stay home. Our online services will still be available and we would love for you to join us after you're in good health. Also, if you fall into one of the following compromised categories, we would suggest that you stay home. These groups include people 65 and older, anyone with health conditions involving a weakened immune system, anyone with heart or lung disease, anyone being treated for cancer, and anyone with diabetes. When entering the church, wearing a mask will be optional. If you feel comfortable wearing a mask, please do so. If you're wearing a mask because you are sick, we ask that you please stay home until you're in good health. There will be no children's ministry at this time. We miss our little people dearly, but it would be extremely difficult for us to enforce proper social distancing in our smaller classrooms. As soon as Utah enters the green phase of this pandemic, we will reopen all the children's church rooms. Until then, we ask that all parents with kids sixth grade and younger continue to watch and participate with our online services. There will be no youth group at this time either. We are working on a plan to get junior high and high school classes up and going. But for now, these students are welcome to sit with their parents in the sanctuary or in one of our overflow rooms. When arriving to the church for services, we ask that you only use the north doors to enter and only use the southeast doors to exit. By guidance of the state of Utah, we are changing the flow in how people enter and exit to help keep each other safe. This will also allow us to safely sanitize all entrances and exits between services quickly and effectively. Entering the church will be a little different than just walking in and selecting a seat. If you arrive at the church early, you will have to wait in a queue until the sanctuary is open for seating. You will be asked to line up six feet apart in this hallway until we are ready to seat you. Once the sanctuary has been cleared and sanitized, ushers will escort families to their seats. In order to keep the seating process smooth, we ask that you not enter the church until everyone in your party has arrived. Seating will be done by ushers starting from the front of the sanctuary to the back. Please follow the ushers' instructions and sit where you are directed. After you've been seated, ushers will place X's in the seats next to you in order to allow for proper social distancing. Once you have been seated, please do not change seats. We understand that you may want your usual seat, but this process will allow us to seat the sanctuary quickly and efficiently. The deli and bookstore will be closed during these times as well. Once Utah opens to the green phase, we will reopen these popular Calvary Chapel hangout spots. During service, no Bibles will be handed out. It will be too difficult for us to sanitize each Bible after every service, so please bring your own. Church Wi-Fi will be available for you to use, so download your preferred Bible app so that you can follow along. The Wi-Fi password will be posted at the entrance of the wait line and at the welcome desk as you enter the sanctuary. Also, we will not be passing collection baskets for tithes and offerings. You can still give by utilizing the Calvary Chapel app or by dropping your offerings off in the giving boxes at the back of the sanctuary. Our giving kiosks will be back online as well so be sure to visit those spots to give. After service is ended, please exit the building immediately. This will allow us to clean and sanitize the sanctuary and all other open rooms in the church for the next service. Please do not congregate in the foyer or other public spaces in the church. Thank you so much for adhering to these changes. We are so excited to meet together again. If you have any questions, please call the church office or leave a comment below. I look forward to seeing and worshiping with each of you again.